So we are making a strawberries and champagne grilled cheese. Oh yeah, doesn't that sound so good? No, it doesn't. What? It does not sound good. But it is actually good. Anything with champagne is good with me. What I was surprised about this recipe is it's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be, and it's still really yummy. Okay, so let's start. Okay, we're going to slice our strawberries. Okay. Lauren, would you like to take that away? <laughs> Most people don't allow me to have control over the knives, but yes, Jessica, you want to slice the strawberries whole and just in thin slices. I tried to do it half yesterday, and you can. It doesn't change the flavor, but it's just not as pretty. Probably only need what? like five or six strawberries for yeah, each grilled cheese. If that even. Lauren cut them really nice and thin, which mm -hmm. I think tastes better on I'm the I'm really sandwich. good at this. <laughs> Great. <laughs> cut that, Wonderful. I look crazy. I feel like the champagne sauce is the real winner of the sandwich, and if you put too many strawberries on, then you don't get the full champagne effect. Champagne, it is hard to say, it's a hard word. Yeah, Cha I don't know champagne. why. Let's say it five times fast. No, champagne, 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 champagne. It's really hard. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do to make our champagne sauce is add champagne, of course. So this hot- Do you want me to taste test it to make sure it's champagne? No, I already did. Oh, okay. So now we're just going to pour in our champagne. It gets really bubbly. I don't know if it's the type of champagne we're using, but this one gets especially bubbly well, when you put it over Well, we used a different kind yesterday to test this we out. We did. Because I had to go get more champagne because you can't use the same champagne two days in a row. So this right. one is a Prosecco. Ooh, fancy. It was $13. <laughs> really any champagne will work. It doesn't have to be fancy champagne. You're gonna cook off most of the alcohol, so as long as you get the champagne taste. Which is unfortunate. So champagne. like have your strawberry and champagne grilled cheese with some champagne because this will not get you drunk. It won't get you drunk. And if you are like me, you need to be drunk on Mother's Day. Next thing you add is 3 fourths cup sugar. So you can double this recipe, you can triple it. It's just one to one with the champagne and sugar. So 3 fourths cup champagne, 3 fourths cup sugar. I let it cook for a couple minutes because then it starts to caramelize a little bit. You wanna watch it. Sugar will burn quickly if it gets too hot. Uh, but it'll be fine for a couple minutes if we let this cook, boil, simmer. Okay, now it's boiling. It's boiling. Use your cornstarch. You're gonna need that soon. Yes. I got the plate. Thank you. All and right. Also, you got the champagne. It was sitting right there. How could I not bring it? Next step is mixing our cornstarch into the champagne mixture. I never really measured out exactly. Uh, I always do a little bit more and then eyeball it as I dump it in to see how thick it's getting. So you need to temper this so it doesn't get clumpy. And for anyone who's ever worked with cornstarch before, you know that it's a very weird ingredient. If you add just enough liquid, it will be a solid and a liquid. Did you ever play with cornstarch when you were little? No. Okay, look. It's really fun. It's a really fun craft for your kids. And when you don't want to go out on a Friday night with your friends, just get cornstarch. I'm gonna add, I would say, about half. And we'll stir that in. Next step is adding butter. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of butter. It just kind of gives it some good flavor. Um, because it's butter. Normally when I make this curd recipe, I do it with some kind of fruit. So I've done like a strawberries and champagne curd mm. and combined them together or you, I did a passion fruit curd recently that was really yummy. We are getting our butter all nice and melted. Jessica was really scared yesterday when it, it was, was bubbling. It was almost <laughs> bubbling over the pot yesterday. Now we will add our eggs. Okay. Two eggs. I don't think you have to temper them, but I always do just in case. It doesn't hurt. Can I crack an egg? I feel really Please bored crack over an here. egg. I forgot to add our salt and our vanilla. You just dump that right in. Normally I add that before the butter. It doesn't really matter. It's all just flavor. I'm gonna make this real fancy for the camera. Ready? Watch your arm. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> you chickened out. <laughs> I didn't want it to splash everywhere. <laughs> so it went the champagne. Champagne with the sugar. Then we temper our cornstarch and I added about half of our cornstarch, so we probably ended up using about a tablespoon of cornstarch in this recipe. And then a pinch of salt, about a tablespoon of vanilla or teaspoon. Then we added about a tablespoon of butter, and now we're getting ready with our two eggs. Will you whisk our eggs, please? Yes. All right, I'm gonna pour a little bit of this mixture in with the oh, eggs. Oh, is that gonna be hot? 
Well, if it gets on you. Stir, stir, stir. In this tiny bowl. Stir, stir, stir. Now you're gonna pour that in and stir. La, la, la. This is gonna burn, Lauren. Okay. What am I doing? Pour, pour. and stir and stir in the pot. This is where you, got, you gotta get your arm muscles working. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that egg is cooking. All right. Go, go, go! So this will cook very quickly, which is why we temper the eggs before you put it in the recipe because you've got that sugar champagne mixture that's gonna be really hot and getting syrupy. So once you get your egg mixture ready, you wanna dump it right in and stir right away. All right, I'm gonna turn down our heat here because this thing is cooking hot. And then we get it to a nice thick sauce. We're gonna take it off the heat. Yeah, so then we have to put it in the fridge for like 20 to 30 minutes, right? Yes, you want it to be really cooled. I actually put mine in the freezer before for about 20 to 30 minutes and then kept it in the fridge until we were ready to use it. I was just looking for normal butter and I saw coconut butter. And I thought, yes, coconut, oh wait. Yes, yes. coconut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's never do that again. No. Okay, so what can I help with? Uh, you can start layering our bread onto this grill. Okay. We're gonna like lightly toast our bread. This is not or, just ordinary bread oh, though. what kind of bread is it? Lauren? This is brioche bread, our favorite kind of bread. You got a sweet. <laughs> you don't ever allow me to talk, Jessica. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's always interrupting me. So yes, brioche bread. The bread of the brioche. Which is nice and buttery and delicious. What is brioche? It's a type of bread. <laughs> what makes it different than white bread? It's got a lot of butter in it. That's why we're toasting the brioche before we make our sandwich because otherwise it can kind of get pancakey. Hand me that cheese. I will cut Ooh, some. Ooh, that's a great idea. So if you don't love brie, yeah, it's probably not. You, the your mom brie. likes brie, okay? And this is a Mother's Day grilled exactly. cheese. Make it for your mom. What other cheeses do you think would work? In a, I mean, I mean, you could even use like a cream cheese. Oh yeah. Mascarpone. Yeah, but that's not, you can't grill mascarpone cheese. Oh wait, we, we did. <laughs> For our beef scrunchies. I was Ignore like, me. I bet you could do goat cheese and it would be really good. Brie's really hard to cut. Ooh, uh-oh, our bread's getting toasty. We talk too much. We talk too much. So like how many slices of cheese are we gonna put on each piece of bread? I put about two and a half. Okay, I'm almost there then. Great. If you are gonna use brie, it's the triple cream brie, right? Yeah, it's the uh, triple creme, just because that's a little oh, bit- Oh, creme. It's fine. <laughs> cream, creme. Whatever. It's got a little more weight to it. it does, it's not as smushy. Hopefully by now, your champagne sauce is nice and chilled and ready to go. Which just like magic, ours is. Ours is. <laughs> So we're gonna spread the champagne jam on, depending on how sweet you like your grilled cheese. Um, but you can also, if it's not enough, just dip it in. Yes, I highly recommend having some on the side and dipping it in. Yeah. You'll have enough from the recipe, so why not? Do you want to add some strawberries and brie to this for me? Okay, strawberries first. Sure, it doesn't really matter at this point, but I like I like the strawberry and champagne together because then it then you get the nice mixture. Okay, okay. Okay, and right. two things of cheese, yeah. or two and a half. If you really like brie, you could do a whole three. It's also gonna melt, so keep that in mind. It'll get nice and melty and it'll kinda open out. So do I throw this back on the griddle? Once you got a sandwich, once you finish your... Just top it off? Yeah, just top we it off We don't add there. any kinda stickiness over here? You can add some well, more champagne the jam. Cheese, though, will yeah, the cheese stick. will stick, but if you really like that champagne jam, and I'm going to place it down with the cheese facing down on the griddle because yeah. that's what we want. Mm -hmm. Nice and melty. Ooh, I'm excited. Honestly, this is a great idea because going out to brunch for Mother's Day is crazy. Yeah. So, and it can be so expensive. So you can just grab some champagne, invite your mom over, make some mimosas, make some champagne, strawberry, brie grilled cheeses, and have a good old time. Get some face masks going, you know, hang yeah. out. And get, you'll have leftover champagne. Get champagne tipsy in your food <laughs> and your drink. As you cook. As, as you should. You have to watch this recipe closely because the bread will burn quickly. If you don't want your bread to burn but you need to warm it up more, you can actually wrap it in tin foil. But it takes twice as long for the bread to burn but it'll still warm up the sandwich and cause your cheese to melt. Waiting on these grilled cheeses. Come 
<laughs> I hear if you sing to your grilled cheese, <laughs> it melts faster. Oh yeah. What are you gonna get your mom for Christmas? I mean, um, what are you gonna get your mom for Mother's Day? <laughs> well, I've been really going for like the experience gifts lately. Yeah. And Wicked is going to be showing in town. So I think we're gonna get our tickets to Wicked. Ah, oh, that'll be so fun. Hopefully she doesn't watch this video. At least they're not burning. Why did the Brie cross the road? Because it relieved it could. <laughs> You thought of that pretty quick. Oh man. I think they're ready. My God. It took a lot longer than I think it did the first time around. So yeah, five, 10 minutes. Yeah, take just them off. keep an eye on it. All right, take those babies they're out. They're not burned. All right. Ready to taste Oh my ask. gosh. It's the moment of truth. Mmm. Smells it's really good. really toasty. <laughs> Texture's good. I like when the bread is especially toasty for this Ooh, one. Yeah, yeah. Looks real good. I just like looked into our TV to the side to make sure you could actually see the action happening mm. in here. Ba bam. Now we have to taste test taste them. Taste them. Okay, are you gonna take your first bite? Cheers. With wait, I want that one. No, what? That one no. has more brie. You don't oh, like brie. Okay, but it did look so <laughs> melty and delicious. <laughs> mm. So good. Just enough strawberry to be sweet, mm -hmm. and just enough brie. It's better with the sauce. I know, I it's don't even want to take a, a bite without the sauce. Come the on, sauce is so do good. it. The sauce is just so good. It is really good. <laughs> so this is actually pretty easy. It's not that many ingredients. How much would you say it costs to make this? Like 25? That's a lot less than going to a brunch with like your sister and your mom and paying for that yeah. whole meal which would be my situation. So now I know what I'm doing for Mother's Day brunch. There you go. Making some champagne, strawberry, grilled cheeses. Mm, you could even cut this into like little squares and do kind of like an appetizer Ooh, with it. Or like a tea party. Like a tea party. Yeah, mm. Jess loves tea parties. I love a good tea party. Well, I think that's it for now. We're gonna enjoy these and- I am gonna enjoy it. You should go make some too. If you do, mm. send us photos. Tag us, home of the holidays or hashtag holidays365.